Hello, my name's Tony Piers and my craft business is called Curly Girly Crafts. I teach lots of different crafts including silver clay, enamelling, felt making, flame work which is making glass beads and encaustic art. And today I'd like to talk to you about encaustic art because I think a lot of people don't know what it is. So what I'm going to do is do a little demo on what encaustic art is and hopefully that will give you a better idea and maybe you'll even want to come on a class. One of the things that you need to know about encaustic art is you have to use an iron. But it's a great way of ironing. Don't worry if you hate ironing clothes. This is a good way of getting sympathy from people about ironing all day if you want to, but really you're having fun. Right, I'm going to switch over now to doing a demo. So now I'm going to demonstrate doing an encaustic art abstract. So by that I mean a picture such as this. So an abstract, you just let the wax do its thing and see what comes out. First of all, I'm going to heat up my iron and apply some wax to it. So the wax that we use is beeswax with a pigment dye and that's melted onto the surface of the iron and then I'm able to move the wax across a sealed piece of card. If you use a piece of um, paper or something like that that's absorbent then the wax will get absorbed into the paper whereas if you use a sealed piece of card it sits on the surface so every time I touch the iron to it it will melt again so I can go quickly across and depending on the speed I go I get different effects so by going quite slowly I get a smooth image if I go quickly I get a much more sort of jagged piece where the wax is pulled away and sometimes people see castles and things like that in the images what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shuffle my iron backwards and forwards to melt the wax and then I can add some more colors to my abstract this, this can be really, really therapeutic. You just sort of get taken away to a different place. So I've done a few of those. Now I'm going to add a different colour. The colours are always really, really vivid and they melt into each other so you get good colour mixture. Obviously you can go too far and end up with a brown sludge but mainly you just get a lovely sort of blending. It's a it's a great beginner's art form because you don't have to worry about sort of colour blending and things like that. You just let the wax and the heat do its work. So I'm just going to add a fine little bit of um, gold for some bling, like that. Now the beauty of encaustic art is as soon as you take away the heat, the wax is dry, and because we're using beeswax, we are able to grab a tissue and just polish our work, just like we polish all our furniture at home, I'm sure. Okay, so once I've polished that, it comes up nice and shiny, and there's our finished result. With this encaustic art demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to achieve a landscape in a matter of minutes. Okay, here we go. So, once again, we are going to melt the wax onto the iron. I'm going to do a landscape orientation, so that way round. If I'm on the camera. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I have to plan where I'm going to put the iron this time. I'm going to put lots of white on, lots of blue, and I'm going to put some light blue on. So lots of sky colours. And I'm going to pull my sky downwards. I'm going to put it down the card. Once I'm happy with what I got, I can stop. But if I'm not happy, I can just keep going over it. That's better. Um, I might just go once more and put a little bit of pink in there so it's not such a, a dark sky. That's better. Okay, so I've got a sky coming up there. Now I need to think about my shape of my hills and things like that. So I'm going to use the edge of the iron to create sort of a sunny hill effect. And I'm going to put some olive green on my eye. And then using the roundness of the iron, I can create some hills. So, put some more wax on and push round again. OK. 
okay. So if I'm not happy with those shapes, I can just go over them again until I am happy. And this is the beauty of encaustic wax. You can just keep going over the surface and if you find there are bits in it that you don't like or you find that your surface has got too much wax on it, which mine has, you can rip it off and start on a, a new piece of backing paper. So let me just put some more wax on here and a bit more green and then let's just do those again that's the beauty of demoing you never get quite what you wanted <laughs> but we'll go with it okay so we've got two hilly areas going on there so what we need to do now is think about adding more decoration into the foreground so the beauty of encaustic wax is that I can just dab the surface of the foreground and I end up with lots of foliage and things like that on there which is great it just saves you a lot of time having to fill in areas that you might not want to and I'm just going to go over that again because I had a bit of a white area going on that I, I wasn't very happy with and then I can go over the front surface again maybe add in a little bit of colour for flowers things like that Adding some grasses with the side of my eye in. And then if I want to, I can add in um, birds at the top. Now these don't always work brilliantly in the demo, but we will see how we go. So if I do a little dot there and then a mark out to there. One, two, three birds. There we go. So once again, just like we did with our abstracts, I'm going to polish my picture and then show you the finished result. So the aim of this little video was to show you what encaustic art is. And it's painting with molten wax using an iron. There are other ways that you can do it, but this is a sort of the easiest way to, to start off with. And you can go from using an iron <laughs> and a piece of wax to creating abstracts and landscapes and even bigger pictures. Some people get really, really into it and use it for fantasy work. It's just a really, really quick and accessible art form. I teach classes here in my home studio in Colchester. I also teach classes around the Essex area and into the Suffolk border. So places like Blackford Mill and I run classes for the Essex Wildlife Trust. If you're interested in classes at all or equipment, then get in touch with me via my website, which is curly-girly.co.uk. There's plenty of information on there and ways of getting in touch. I organise dates to suit as well as having more scheduled classes. It would be great to hear from you.